Welcome back guys to another video here at Hostways Exotics. Today we're going to be feeding the Copperhead, the Kister Donington Tortrix. And we'll see if this guy's kind of hungry. Because I haven't fed him in like about a week or so. So we'll kind of see what happens here. See my little mouse friend is kind of just walking around. Generally these guys you kind of have to, you know, be a little patient with them. And kind of wait it out and see. Last week of video got a couple comments that I was being impatient, but I want you guys to know that I do cut out a lot of the stuff in between uh, with the snakes and different things because it does take them uh, quite a while to actually eat. Because like I said, you do have to be patient with them. You don't really never know what kind of is going on at the moment. Because I do have to take them out and like move them to this little feeding box because you don't necessarily like to get moved. But with me having two of them living in the same container, uh, living in the same enclosure together. It makes things a little bit on the more difficult side so let me grab my tongs here and we'll do a little bit of moving around here uh oh mm -mm. You seen that little grab? What in the world was that? Did you just grab him by the face? Like what in the world? I mean that's the most craziest thing. He didn't even strike at him. He just smelled him and just bit him in the face. Dude, that's wild. Never seen that happen before. That was the nicest grab I've ever seen. Of course the mouse ain't doing good. I mean, regardless. Good God. I don't know if he thought the mouse was dead already or what, but. Dude, these snakes this week has been doing pretty wild here. I don't know what to say. Uh oh, my bad. Let me pull the camera back up. I didn't have it locked down good enough, it just slipped on me. Dude, that's wild. Look how he's just sitting there holding on to him. He's not gonna let him go either. My mouse is struggling. He's like, dude, you gotta let me go, man. Copperhead snake here ain't playing with them. Sorry guys, I had to sorry to answer the text message real quick. Man, he is not playing with him, and the rat's pooping all over the place. If you were wondering the rat, why the rat was a little bit wet looking, I did like to give him a bath from time to time. Sometimes they get poop and stuff on them. And I don't like my animals to like, you know, be eating animals that poop all over them and stuff. But I guess it don't really matter considering you just poop everywhere during this whole uh, skirmish, I guess. Uh, I don't know, guys. Dude, that's wild. You just sit there and just grab them up casually. But that's pretty awesome looking snake, man. Look at the coloration on that. Like, you see, like, some of the little spots and stuff. Like, over here. And a little bit further on down there, you can see some of the spots in the tail. And you also can see that caudal lure that he has in the tail. Uh, I was kind of thinking this little snake was a little bit mature to be having babies, considering it still has like that. And they're nowhere near as big as my copperhead. I mean, my cotton mouth is my water moccasin. So I don't know. Dude, tell me what you guys think of this snake down in the comments, man. I've had a couple people ask me about breeding these snakes. Currently, yes, I do have a male and female breeding pair. But I won't probably have any babies until maybe next year since, got, since this gal here actually is a proven breeding 
female because she's had babies here at Host Ways of Dice with my two little ones that I have. I'll show you a little clip of those in the future coming up soon. I do have a little baby hog nose snake too, I didn't tell you guys about. So make sure you check out that. Dude, he's. This mouse still alive? Oh, dude, he's swallowing him alive. He ain't playing today. Now, I guess we'll feed my other copperhead tomorrow because he is chomping this guy on down. Like, look at that, guys. Mouse is still moving in his mouth and he has him halfway down his throat. We ain't even no need for no time lapse in this video, guys. This is good enough just sitting here. This is entertainment for me. I don't know. Should I throw some music on this? I might throw some music on here too while we listen to all this too. Just give a little bit of substance to the video. Gotta have substance, you know. Well, shit fire and save the matches. You just gonna swallow that thing right on down, huh? Guess I need to wash my tub out afterwards. All this craziness going on here. Yeah, that's one badass snake. This is probably the most beautiful snake I have. Like my little copper, my cotton, uh, cotton mouth was pretty cool when he was a baby because he had a lot of banding and coloration. But your copperheads, they are a little bit more colorful because they retain their banding pattern as they get older. Dude, that's just cool. That's one badass. I gotta get, clean up my rat tub and all that's why you see all these little fruit flies sitting there moving around up under the, the container right here uh, so i gotta do that this week i gotta start like doing a little bit more mice maintenance and stuff with my animals but you know that just comes with the territory sometimes we get a little slack with our husbandry but i'm gonna get back on point with it get them all cleaned out this week starting over fresh you might make a little rat breeding mouse breeding video this week along with my other video i got planned to wrote out a script for do a little something something you know but definitely gonna throw another mouse breeding tips and tricks and stuff out there that i use and how i do my things here at hostways exotics my feeder mice and rats so this is just one thing to remember that you know they are feeder mice and rats so they aren't really pets so you don't have to treat them as such and it's hard not getting attached to these snakes well these mice and rats and stuff especially when i'm just breeding them for that purpose so kind of sucks but keeps my snakes good and fed and keeps my my profit margins and stuff really well not profit margin but keeping profit margins high and my costs and stuff low for everything so when you run a business like this what i'm doing here at my youtube channel and all the other stuff because i do sell the mice for you know breeding purposes and you know feeder mice and i also want to be selling the snakes i'm going to be getting out of this i do make the videos and i do amazon stuff so we're trying to make this a legit pretty income worthy business i would say but appreciate you guys coming through with this video. I've enjoyed it and I've enjoyed watching this snake eat. Hopefully we can go ahead and get all these fruit flies taken care of. I'm tired of looking at them flying around everywhere. It's kind of annoying. But we'll see you guys on the next episode of Postways Exotics.